Okay, let's see if I can do this in three minutes. Good morning. Two mallet technique discussion as per George Hamilton Green's how to grip the, that's a green mallet, uh, to grip the hammers from George Hamilton Green's new instruction course of xyloph uh, for xylophone. This uh, was from a pamphlet, a two-page pamphlet that accompanied the 50 lessons that I found at uh, Kutztown University's Center for Mallet Instrument Research. You should like that page. Uh, go to Kutztown in uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I've never seen this before. Maybe it's out there. I know in the uh, Green Brothers um, advanced instructor, there's some photos of how they hold the mallets, but this was probably, oh boy, people did a 50 course, um, 50 week course in 1920, mid, mid 20s or later, and then figured out afterwards they never knew how to hold the mallets. Um, so here he is uh, talking about how to hold it, grip the mallets, uh, the, the hammers, and he calls it a finger grip. Um, in other publications, he addresses a 13-inch mallet, so something to consider is uh, marimba mallets that are sold today tend to be the 17. Um, this is a natural rubber uh, mallet tech. This is a Dave Pike, good vibes, the 13-inch, kind of designed for two mallet playing because the weight distribution is going to be different. Um, and also you don't want to be poking yourself over here with the um, extra stick. He talks about uh, taking the first finger, resting the mallet on the joint of the first finger, and gripping it there with the thumb. Then, okay, I'm going to just read this. One and a half minutes. Here we go. First joint of the first... Take the hammer and place it on the first joint of the first finger, as in figure one. Then bend the first finger and place the thumb firmly against the handle. So there's a little... There's a joint there, okay? Um, figure two, there's the thumb on it. You can see that. I'll post it, look at the pictures, do it. <laughs> uh, now take the second and third fingers, place them over the, sec uh, the handle of the hammer so that the, uh, the tips of these two fingers touch the palm of the hand. Ooh, really? Yeah, all the way back there. I don't know, it depends on the length of your fingers, but some curl around. Um, as in figure three, the fourth and little finger has nothing to do, uh, the fourth or little finger has nothing to do with this grip. So for people who are like into this kind of thing, it's not this grip. It can be something else. Probably for a heavier bar, more weight. Um, figure four will give you the correct position uh, for the hands for this. Um, study this photograph carefully. You will note that the hands are turned over until the back of the hands um, are nearly level and the fingers are well under the hand. So that he doesn't say so much, but talks about um, using wrist. He doesn't talk about it, but you can't be level and do this. Uh, okay, I'm going to post this and not say anything else. Have a good day. Play with two mallets uh, responsibly.